welcome back so as you can see in my screen we are going to see one question related to a interview okay so the question is a web page is having a multiple links which is getting identified by uh, their inner text property so how will you create a re reusable and dynamic module for this scenario okay so we'll try to achieve this okay and for that i have opened a web page okay one uh, practice page where we have a uh, few links are available okay so I, as per the question we have to scan all these links okay by using their inner text property then we have to make it a dynamic okay so, and we have to convert it into a library okay so let me quickly uh, scan this page okay we'll finish it soon Okay. Yeah. I will scan all the links. Okay. One second. okay all the links we have to check okay this is having inner text property this is also having inner text okay this is having id just change it to inner text okay because as per the question we have to make it unique using inner text okay okay all are uh, unique now okay using uh, inner text property okay let me close it our okay it has come as division which is not required while scanning i would have selected like yeah. this this is fine this will also work let me quickly check this whether this will work or not we'll just create and click on one link just to cross check whether uh, this will work or not okay we are clicking on one link okay so whichever link you will create the message will update here like which links we have created uh, sorry clicked just to confirm okay we have created on uh, clicked on created link and you can see the message has been updated here created okay so there is no problem in scanning okay and in the module section you can see each control is having inner text property okay so as per the question okay first let me just give the name Mm, reusable demo for links okay you can give the name as per your convenience okay so we have to make it a uh, dynamic okay we have to create a library for that so i will just create one folder here okay we'll handle this in one folder okay there is no any specific uh, like reason for like why i have created folder simply i created folder okay so don't focus on that okay. so i will create one library here okay. i will drag and drop this okay i'll keep library here and delete this otherwise you will confuse so this is 
one library which I have created okay and <clears throat> in that library I have just pulled that particular module okay so we have to make this module generic okay so now <clears throat> if I drag and drop and if I give some values it will work but there are multiple links are there right I don't want all the links so you can do one thing just delete all the links we don't need all the links okay we just need one link I will just give link name okay just change to link name okay and in place of inner text I will just pass one buffer okay L name which is called or I will give just link name okay I will just pass the buffer so now if you <clears throat> jump to the test case inside library you can see this is the link name okay I will create one business parameter okay called okay link name or the link name to click okay the link name to click and I will pass this parameter to here okay because this is the step where it will click on the link okay the at runtime I will pass the option here or the link name it will come and sit here okay so our library is ready now I will drag and drop this library into test case okay so now I don't want to pass directly I will take one buffer okay I will take one T box set buffer I will drag and drop into the first step and will provide one buffer name which we have given at the module level to the inner text property link name and I will just give one link name like bad request okay so bad request I have given will create in some other link and we will through a script will create a bad request link okay so I have passed bad request and here I will just give X okay so <clears throat> now what will happen as soon as I execute this step okay the control will come here it will see T box set buffer okay it will set the bad request into a buffer name called a uh, link name okay then it will come to a control will come to this step it will jump to the library okay it will see one business parameter has been defined okay and the business parameter has been defined and in the next step it will see link name equals to whatever business parameter we have given okay we have given bad request now it will come it will jump to the module okay it will jump to this module and it will see the inner text property which is buffer of link name and here we have provided link name as bad request so it will set bad request in the link name okay which is at the module section so this link name will refer as a bad request okay at runtime and we have given x okay x just to click okay so it will click on bad request just let me run and show you okay it should click on bad request and we should see message here bad request instead of uh, created you can see it has created on bad request okay so we have made module as generic here okay we have removed the inner text we have given a buffer name and then we are passing the buffer name and in the test case okay and we are passing uh, or we are clicking on that link using the library reusable test table okay this now i have taken buffer this um name link name can be uh, uh, come from your tcd okay or your tcp test configuration parameter okay so you can pass from anywhere okay 
but it will the it will work as expected how i i have shown you okay so we will try with one more uh, different link okay suppose if we want to click on home link okay if we click on home link it will open a new tab okay so what we have to do i will just change this buffer name home okay no other places we need to change just click on run it should click on home link which will open a new window sorry new tab okay it has clicked on home okay so and this is how we can handle such scenarios okay if 